I previously talked about Kusama Polkadot ecosystems and did a deep dive into their purpose, how they're structured, and why I think this layer zero network is something truly unique and worth paying attention to. In this video, I'll dive into Moon River and Moonbeam, which are smart contract parachains on the Kusama Polkadot networks that are fully compatible with Ethereum's virtual machine. I'm Corey. And on this channel, I help you decode technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. In this video, I'll go over smart contract parachains, Moon River and Moonbeam on the Polkadot and Kusama networks, what they do, and show you an example of an Ethereum-based project that is now launching on Kusama and Polkadot too. So let's get into it. Moon River and Moonbeam are smart contract parachains which allow developers to integrate Ethereum-based networks into the Kusama and Polkadot ecosystem. Smart contracts are just programs stored on a blockchain like Ethereum and they run when predetermined triggers or rules are met. Moon River and Moonbeam allow Ethereum smart contracts to quickly and easily run on the Kusama Polkadot networks without forcing developers to recode a ton of functionality just to make things work. If you're a Mac user that has ever tried to use certain Microsoft Excel functions, notice how the Windows version always has more features and compatibility than the Mac version. This is because the system's architecture is still not fully compatible all these decades later. Moon River and Moonbeam seek to avoid this problem on the blockchain so that any Ethereum project can easily operate in the Kusama Polkadot ecosystem. The Ethereum Virtual Machine, you may have heard me mention that at the beginning. Ethereum Virtual Machine is a tech stack core of Ethereum. This is where all Ethereum accounts and the smart contract actually lives. The EVM defines the rules for computing a new valid state from block to block on the Ethereum blockchain. Because Moon River and Moonbeam are parachains, they share the Kusama Polkadot relay chain security. I will have a playlist link later in the video and I'll put it down in the show notes that you can check out for a full breakdown of the Kusama Polkadot network structure. So what do Moon River and Moonbeam actually do? As I mentioned, Moon River and Moonbeam are smart contract parachains that allow Ethereum dApps, dApps, which are decentralized applications built on the blockchain to operate and run on the Kusama Polkadot ecosystem. What this means is that if you're using a dApp on Ethereum, but let's say their network is congested or gas fees are too high, or maybe you just wanna move assets into the Kusama Polkadot ecosystem, Moon River and Moonbeam serve as the bridge to all those assets to allow you to use your favorite Ethereum projects in the Kusama Polkadot ecosystem. So if I'm a developer and I have Ethereum-based decentralized applications, Moon River and Moonbeam is my bridge to connect the Ethereum network tools and programs that I've created and port them into the Kusama Polkadot ecosystem. Right now, you can use the same projects that operate on Ethereum as fast as the developers can work to make that happen. So right now you can't use every project, but the infrastructure is there to allow that to happen quickly over time as more developers get up to speed and start writing code in the Kusama Polkadot ecosystem. For example, a popular program is called SushiSwap, and this is an automated market maker and multi-chain decentralized exchange. This project launched originally on Ethereum and it has a few core projects, but with the Moon River Moonbeam protocol, you're now going to be able to use that program in the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems. SushiSwap's ecosystem was originally launched on Ethereum and has a few core products. The SushiSwap Exchange, which is an automated market maker that allows you to swap ERC-20 tokens. You also have SushiSwap liquidity pools, which offer liquidity into the market and anyone can provide their token and earn a reward or a yield. Then you also have SushiSwap Sushi Bar, which allows you to stake your SushiSwap tokens and earn X Sushi in return. Finally, they're also working on a lending platform that has not yet launched, but is coming soon. For a review of DeFi, lending and staking, I'll put a link in the show notes to my video on that topic. So what do you think? Do you think the Moon River Moonbeam parachain is gonna really allow things to expand in the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems in the way that they say it will? Let me know in the comments, what's your opinion on Moon River Moonbeam and are you excited about the project? Join me on the path to decoding technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time.